Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop in the Heavenly Backyard Garden with my telescopes uh, still up in view right now. However, off to the southeast uh, and south-southwest, there is a huge storm headed this way. The name is Hurricane Ian, and we're going to be affected by Ian uh, coming up later this week. So my mission right now is to take down these telescopes and to stow them in a a secure location. I have this big Celestron 11 inch right here. I have another uh, uh, seven, F7 uh, 80 millimeter telescope over here. And of course the big uh, Eon uh, 130 millimeter refractor over there. All those have to come down and stowed, including the mounts as well. I'm expecting some very high winds across my area and some extremely heavy rains on Friday and Saturday. Meanwhile, before all this came in, I was pointing the telescope up toward the planets Saturn and Jupiter, and I came up with some pretty good uh, images. As a matter of fact, uh, three days before Jupiter reached opposition, I was able to capture it and even animate it with the giant red spot moving into the field of view. And a couple of images from the little 80 millimeter telescope I got early in the morning, the Pleiades and Orion. Yeah, so let's take a look. All right, we're just about done. There it is, 2,000 frames. And uh, uh, it, it, it just still bounces in and out of focus. And it's, it's quite high up in the sky right now. Looking at the uh, position here with um, Celestron um, PWI, there's the meridian right there. So it, it's quite high up. Uh, looking at um, Nina, going into the imaging tab here and looking at the um, orbitals there you can see it's right about 40 degrees above the horizon maximum elevation tonight will be at 42 degrees so all right let's take a look at the different f ratios of the Celestron 11 inch telescope with the uh, native state being f10. Uh, f10 has the focal length of the telescope itself at 2800 millimeters. Now with the 2x Barlow that increases the f ratio to 20 and with the 3x extender that increases the f ratio to f30 and you can see the different sizes that you get with the different lenses on the telescope. This is Jupiter where I had set it up to make the animation. Now, the way I did this was I took a movie file of 2,000 frames, and the frames were moving at about uh, 10 milliseconds uh, per image. So that was a lot of frames per second. And uh, so it only took about 30 seconds to make each movie file. And then I had it set to take a new one every five minutes. So I took about 20 or 24 images or, or, or movie files, and hence I came up with the enough to make the animation. Then again, I had to go into post-processing after this and edit each and every one of those movies into a single file, and then from there, go into a movie editor and create the animation. But look at the animation. It came out pretty good. Well, once I get these telescopes taken down, it's gonna take a while to get them back up. Probably not until mid to late next week before I get everything back up and running once again, assuming we don't get too much damage here. But I do expect winds in excess of 55 miles per hour here in the Heavenly Backyard Garden, and five to seven inches of rain is totally not out of the question. If you want to follow me on my other channel, my weather channel, that's under uh, the YouTube channel of Patrick Prokop. Just type in Patrick Prokop, P R O K O P and that should take you directly to it. Or I'll just have a link to it right below in the description area. Uh, I've been posting weather information daily about this hurricane as it approaches the west coast of Florida and then expect it to move up into Georgia and South Carolina. And that's my area right here. So I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.